So here we have a very cheap low quality projector that only achieves 800 by 40 pixels. So we're certainly not going to be playing a blockbuster film or major TV shows on here. However, how about some cartoons? How about putting this in the kids bedroom and achieving a pretty decent screen size and playing all their favourite cartoons on it? Spongebob, Peppa Pig, you know, bright colours, simple drawings and so on. I think this would do a half decent job at that, so let's take a look now and see how well it performs. So it comes in pretty decent packaging, so at least it's going to arrive to you in one piece. It doesn't come branded though, I think it's just a very cheap generic LED projector. We've got actually a control panel on the top as well as a remote control which I'll show you just in a second. We've got plenty of inputs, two HDMI's, USB port, we've also got VGA input as well which is good to see and of course an IR sensor for the IR remote. It's all plastic construction, it looks decent, it feels half decent quality, nothing too special but what can you expect for the money. We've also got a tripod stand connection underneath it which is good to see, no actual ceiling mounts but hey ho, we've got that tripod mount. The projector itself does actually have an inbuilt speaker. It's not the best, but it does the job just fine. Now the actual fan noise from this projector is very low and it's barely noticeable. So putting it in a small bedroom, for example, you're hardly gonna notice it. Now the operating system installed on this projector is very simple and very straightforward. We've seen this a few times actually on the Chilux projector, the GP100 and a few others as well. It does not have Android, which is good to see. I really don't like Android on these cheap projectors, mainly because it's actually a buggy mess and you know, it's just not worth having. So let's play some footage of some cartoons. We've got SpongeBob, Pepper, and a couple of others here. And as you'll see, it does a half decent job. Now, as far as films and TV shows, just forget it, because it just isn't good enough. You also need a really dark room for this projector. It's just not bright enough to handle any sort of light. I mean, if we open the door, suddenly everything becomes washed out and you can lose all the contrast, all the color just goes straight away. So to summarize, this projector is pretty poor to be fair. It's nothing exciting. And as far as a kid's bedroom is concerned, is probably the limit of this projector, I should think at least. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Matthew and you've been watching another review by the MXQ Project. Don't forget to check out the website, mxqproject.com and of course, Facebook group and our Twitter at MXQ Project. Thanks again, guys, and we shall see you very soon. Don't forget to check out Scott Leck. I'm going to play a clip now and tell you all about Scott Leck.